And now we'll get started with the grayscale tutorial. Let's head on over to pixeldatabase.net. Hi everybody. In today's video I'm going to show you some grayscale features that I added to pixeldatabase.net. If you're a C Sharp developer, everything I'm showing you here you can do in C Sharp. Just add a NuGet package, datajuggler.pixeldatabase. I'll go ahead and get started. Select this little uh, multi-polygon shape. I'm going to go ahead and show you the first one, which is just update set grayscale and this will perform the average of red green or blue okay I'm hit undo there's also some optional parameters if you say min you'll get the darkest of red green or blue or the lowest same thing And this will be the max, so the opposite of that, make it look brighter. And then this is the mean, which is just going to be the middle of red, green, or blue. And in case of a tie, it's alphabetical, so it's actually blue, green, or red. And then there's three others, red, Take the red value for every pixel. Green. And blue. And now I'm going to show you with another image a couple of other things. Okay, with this one, I'm going to use this image here with these little polygons. The first thing I want to do is I want to set only the little blue one to gray. So to do that, I'm going to cheat and I already have this on my clipboard, but I'll explain it briefly. I'm going to use mean for the grayscale type. And then here, I'm going to use blue max diff, which I'll turn on the color picker. If you look at this pixel, blue is the maximum, so I only want to do the ones where blue max diff is greater than or equal to zero, which is actually what greater than or zero means. It's a shortcut for greater than or equal to. And if I hit apply, only the blue one is updated. Now for the opposite of that, I'm going to go ahead and reset, and I'll show you this one. It's on my list. I would like to do some things like not in or or and and things like that. But until I do, I just have to use different colors. So for this one, I'm going to say the exact same thing, except for I'm going to say where red max diff is greater than zero. So that's going to be everything that has the red as the max. Okay, now, and then we're going to do the exact same thing for green. So basically what we were saying is we're, we're leaving blue by doing the, so if you want to pause the video and get, know what kind of fast there, but basically green max diff is going to be where green is the most dominant color. And then red max diff is the same thing. There's also min max diff which I'll explain that in another video. The help explains all this. Here's the grayscale cheat sheet if you want to download it. That was my short video. Let me know what you think of the grayscale. I think it's kind of useful.
And the comic book was kind of cheesy, but I just wanted some grayscale examples. Thanks for watching, everybody.